Oh, there's a pig. I think we could buy some pig. Hey, look at this. Okay, which one should we buy, guys? Hello, friends. Snack here, and welcome back again to this quirky and magical and mysterious world of Kinseed. So, previously, we, we actually sold some produce in the Festival Green for the very first time, and amazing things that we got like from six to six brass we spent like eight hours in game selling our apples everything that we could sell and look at that guys at the upper right hand corner of our screen we now have 121 brass so i'm planning to buy a pet dog I think the name was Sausage. It would be nice to pair Pet Dog with Ka, our really adorable cat. Pretty sure that they're gonna get along pretty fine. And good thing it is raining right now. We don't have to water our plants. Let's say hi to Butterscotch and feed her well. Pretty sure Butterscotch is also sad, but that's fine. Don't forget also to give an offering to the goddesses. So we asked uh, for that one. Um, you can check out the upper right hand corner of your screen for that previous video if you've missed that. Now let's continue and check what uh, what things we could we could cook or at least have breakfast for today. And I think we're gonna still do this same breakfast. We need meat, right? I think, yeah, we need to meet, uh, eat meat at least in the morning. For now, let's just cut this fresh tomato. Down you go. In this cabbage. Oops. All right. We need to hold back this. We need to cut it. I think this one. There you go. That should do it. And lastly, that's not time. Chop, chop, chop. Hold the sharp. Yeah, we know about that. <laughs> All right, now let time do its thing. So it's almost finished, guys. I'm so hungry. We roamed around yesterday. We, we went to different places. We've discovered a lot of dating locations. Although we don't have a date yet. And that's fine. So I'm really hungry right now. We need to recover from that journey. Yeah, Miss Simpletons too. Let's just eat it, eat it up. Ah, oh, that's so comforting. Okay, now what can we do before uh, heading to another adventure? Ah, we got these basils in time. All right. Oh, by the way, yeah, we need to finish this ash brown enigma we need to catch this silver skipper that's gonna be our first task for today and most probably we can try and fulfill this and then we're gonna go with the big stuff like seeking the grandmasters and learning combat okay i think that is it so since it's still 10 a.m okay let's and then this uh one you, you need to go to this tree with a smiling tree near a pool at before 6 p.m guys so it's still 10 p.m while we wait for that let's just finish this task and before anything else i always wanted to train myself because i am a ne uh, i love fishing but in this game it's really hard for me but one of our subscribers told me that we could uh, ripple it. Oh, there you go. That's why we need to press F, guys, so that they will come. So ripple, ripple, press F so they will come. How come they're not coming? Let's see. They'll not. Okay, there, there. there's one fish coming, guys. Ah, okay. So if the fish will come near the rippling bobber, we need to stop rip rippling it, right? Because otherwise it will scare uh, the fish away. So we need to ripple it just enough for the fish to be to, to get the attention of the fish. Just like that, I think. 
Okay. Oh, no. See? I rippled it once. I thought the fish was going away. So when I rippled it, the... Haha. <laughs> up. Oh, we missed that. Okay. At least one fish. Come on. There you go. Haha. <laughs> ah. It's so hard. Huh? Oh. Ripple, 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 ripple. I think this is... Uh... You know what? I don't want to compare things, but this is more engaging than Stardew Valley. Although I like the fact that you need to... In Stardew Valley that you need to... Uh, well, that you need to keep yourself uh, alert so that the bar... Oh, there you go. So that you can catch the fish using the bar um, system. Because for me, this is better because it's... It's engaging at the same time. It may not look challenging at first, but uh, I'm having a hard time, really. But it, in a good way. It's, is it's more uh, realistic and more immersive for me. Yes, look at that. You need to ripple it. Ripple. Okay, there's a fish here. Oh no! Come on, fish. Maybe because you can also see the fish uh, shadow. Maybe that's the reason why. Also. It. There we go. Come on, just give me one more. Haha. Right. <laughs> okay, we've got ourselves to Pond Lurker. Uh, it's now 2 p.m. So let's just head right away to the quest or the task. Okay, Lucy Arrows, how you doing? I decided to stuff my mattress full of herbs to keep away every type of hag, sc scorn, web, web bill, nymph. Grug Grugle Natch Chanderlu uh, I can't I can't pronounce those names. Inky uh, I don't know. Can you help me by getting uh sure, sure why not? And please also tell me some of those were made up. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, I think we have that. Okay. Complete one task done for the day guys. Good job. Lucy Arrows is happy. See ya. So we are now in Festival Green. Uh, I think it's in the other side of the map, maybe. Oh, there's a pig. I think we could buy some pig. Hey, look at this. Okay, which one should we buy, guys? Uh, there's a bidding. Let's see. I have to go under here, there, nowhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, this pig is so ador adorable. He looks like truffles. I want to get, I want to have this peg. Today is six. Okay. Pig market day. Okay. So how can we buy this pig? Um, they're having an auction, but looks like, uh, there's no way to, no option to join them yet. Oh, well, that's fine. I think we have, uh, Proverb here. Winter's bite is far too sore for tomatoes to be eaten raw. Oh geez, it's now 5 p.m. Time flies. At least we're able to finish one task for Lucy Arrows, right? And also tend to our farm. So yeah, we should be contented of what we have. Wait, what do you want? Greetings. All right. Okay. Oh, we have one more proverb. Awful tench. In veil pool with the rock. Fast asleep. Awful tench. Patrol the deep. Idna teapot. She is. Wow, she has a lot of constitution. Chances of crafting higher quality cures. She knows a lot of apothecary stuff, I think. How oh, cute. You like the cat? Her name is Ka. Let's give her a gift. Wait, no way. No way. Why she hates apple. I'm so sorry. Mom, Mrs. Teapot. I didn't mean to. How come you hate apple, man? How come? Apple is so healthy and it's like one of the most common fruit ever. Oh well, I think everyone has their own preferences, right? Which makes the world beautiful. 
Uh, well now, where should we find that frail effigy? Effigy or effigy? I think it's an effigy. All right, we are now in the place where we could find this effigy. Where mellow birds make you smile, you will find some chamomile. <laughs> chamomile is going to be perfect for tea to make it fall asleep at night. Okay, let's just explore this place and hopefully we can find that. Uh, time passes without fail in the lush and leafy vale. Oh, a recipe. Nice. A web of intriguing flavors. Let's say hi to Mr. Puppy Cow. Oh, no, not you. Ooh, okay. Well, maybe you like an apple. Yeah. Hopefully he likes it. Okay, cool, cool. Acceptable. Goodbye. I'm glad you liked it, Mr. Cow. There you go. A frail effigy. Rotten apples you can get if your bruni is upset. Okay, time to return this to... Horzel Scrumpy. Blueberry, a blue... A berry blue and very tasty in the lush vale where life ain't hasty. Oh geez, it's now 9 p.m. Hopefully he is still awake. Hey Melanie, how are you doing? I'm attempting to accumulate wealth, a wealth of rare fruit and vegetables. Ours is not to reason why. Ours is but to do or not have lots of good produce. Help a pal out and find me a rainbow mushroom. Sure, I think I have. There you go. Nice. Thanks. All right. <laughs> We're doing good so far, guys, and helping out our fellow town folks, which is always good. Because you know what? For me, the reputation will just come to second. For me, the, the best thing is being able to help. And wait, yeah, we know what that. And. When we help someone, we will be able to have a good relationship with that person. Which makes the world a better place, one step at a time. And as a result, you'll have a good reputation. It's just how it works. Okay. Here he is. I think, uh, let's see. I want to test something out. Look at that, guys. Again, if you cannot find a person, just go to their house, look at their email, or their mailbox, and then you can drop the quest. Really, really convenient. A game changer. Every life sim should have this. At least. Right? There you go. Okay, that's two tasks down. It's really late. 11 p.m. Let's just head home and... Get some good night rest for tomorrow. Oh, another map stone. Wait, I think I am uh, lost again. Let's see. So we're here in TC Acres. Oh, we need to go up to Droidus Cross and to our farm. All right, let's just... Oh, we have an apple here. Nice. Before I go to sleep, I always double check our trees, our bushes, if it has some fresh yummy fruits in this case we have apples these are high quality apples three stars for me that's good enough and then let me just put an offering to our goddess because when you wake up guys it will stay there because i put it at 2 a.m which is the same day when i wake up at 5 a.m and I always forget we have an email. Gift from Lucy Arrows. Your friendship means a lot to me. So, well, thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. A tomato. Yum, yum. One star tomato. That is good enough. It's more than enough, I see. More than enough. Anything that is given, guys. I'm always thankful for it. No matter how simple it is. For me, it's more than enough. Right now, we are harvesting our produce. We have carrots and cabbages. That's a lot. I think we need to sell all of them tomorrow. Right? 
because I really am aiming to buy the blacksmith shop. I was thinking of uh, uh, buying sausage, the dog, for 200 brass, but I need to spend money wisely. I think I'll be spending money by so that I will be able to gain from it. So maybe I'll go buy a shop so we could gain something in return and then uh, get sausage. Okay. Good night. I think it's all done. Do we have any diary here? At least we could write a diary and things that we did. Uh, it's what a. I will read all those books, guys, when I have time. So let's see, let's just try and organize things. I think, uh, yeah, it's okay. We are very lonely, it's just us and Ka. Now that's fine, that is life. Good night. And good morning, it's 5 a.m. Time to do some house chores. But first, let's cook ourselves some yummy breakfast. How can we change uh oh there you go we have like a lot of not not a lot but limited amount of recipes we have this a blueberry jam we have this but for now let's just go ahead with this this is this is the one that we have a complete uh ingredient breakfast is always one of my most fun thing to do cooking for breakfast and then the time it's just so satisfying <laughs> although because you know i don't really cook at home I, I just cook those simple stuff but in the game i can cook the food without burning so <laughs> it's really convenient for me all right we are done one star better than nothing right come Kyle, let's eat Wait, I cannot pet Ka? Wait, wait. Let's eat some yummy breakfast. It is raining outside and we have this hot stew. What a perfect day to have a breakfast. All right, so what can we eat today is 7th of spring. We are in year six. So on this blessed day, we pray homage to joy. Okay, we can, we can actually, uh, off make an offering to do it, uh, to the goddesses right now so that's one of the things that we're gonna do next is ah we need to get this ah we forgot the the other day right let's let's do this man hopefully i won't forget before 6 p.m which which we can do anytime right yeah i think so okay here's some apple for you it would be nice if Butterscotch will have his own barn, right? She's always outside. Soaking in the rain and all that. Poor Butterscotch. So you know what? Let's just fish and then head straight to the place where Ash Brown told us to get that silver skipper. Hey meow, help me catch fish, please. Okay, this fish is not biting the bait Oop, that was so close ah uh, okay if i wait we ripple and uh, the fish will go near it but the rippling effect of the water will hit the fish it will be scared so we need to time it properly that when we ripple the fish will get the, its attention and at the same time oh uh, oh a rainfish we can get it when it's raining nice so we need to time it that every time we ripple the ripple will not touch the fish otherwise it will run away the same time the ripple should be enough to get the attention of the fish for it to go and bite the bait let's just murder this f button for ripple <laughs> these fishes are not in the mood to get caught Okay, never mind. I think it would be better if we try and catch those fish in a pond. Because it will be very little space for them to... Oh, we have a pier. And an apple. Okay. 
there will be a very little space for them to run away from our rod. So let's just fish here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's just get all of them. I think we can. We can do this. Twig thought as well, so should we should make him proud, guys. <laughs> Look at that fish. Look at that fish. He doesn't want to be caught. Smart was smart fish, right? Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Now let's I wanna sell stuff. Because we got a lot of produce and also some fish and also these berries. So we're gonna go to the festival green, sell stuff after that. Let's find that. Uh, rare silver skipper that Ash Brown was talking about before 6 p.m. Hopefully, we won't forget. I tend to forget all the time. But first, we need to make an offering. Okay, let me just think. Uh, hold on, guys. All right, so I'm going to go ahead with the droid as boon. Because, again, I want to take advantage of the free resources that nature is giving us so in this case medium chance for any collected fruit to yield to since we have free trees that gives us a lot of uh not a lot but at least one fruit normally but this time hopefully we get two every time we collect it two apples two pears that would be nice right and it's for free no need to buy anything all right, time to make an offering. Although in this case, the crops will take an additional day to grow. That's fine. That's fine with me. We cannot get everything right. There's always uh, pros and cons. In this case, boons and curses. Okay, we are done. And we are here. All right. So before we sell something, let's just buy some seed. We need some cabbage seed. Let's just buy also uh, maybe two apples. For me, butterscotch, and a uh, ka. That makes three apples. So we got ourselves some carrot seed. Uh, oh, no, the cabbage and then the carrot seed. Okay. Uh, this is the place where we could actually play a mini game. I don't have... I want to save money for now, so let's just go ahead and do this, guys. How many hours? I want to sell. Wait. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three hours. And then I want to sell. Uh, the lightning is stamina. Okay, I. See. Let's sell the the thing that we have. We have a lot of, we have an unlimited supply of fishes, so let's sell all of them. Now we have to wait for three minutes. People should come by and get some more produce and we should earn some brass. So this is one of the best part of the game. I'll just leave the game as it is. And then I'll just stand on my, from my seat and stretch myself. Ah, really convenient. Oh, it sold out. Wow, that was so fast. Okay. There you go. Oh, our fish is a hit, guys. It's all sold out again. Uh, let's see. Maybe let's sell more of him. There you go. Today is fish day. All right, we're about to close, guys. And just in time, sold out. <laughs> We now have 122 brass. Thanks, guys, for your business. I appreciate it always. Now, let's not forget. Let's head to Duckwood and get that rare silver skipper. Okay, we need a pier. We have that. We need an em uh, empty glass jar. So we have everything. Let's go. It should be here. You can see this is the one. All right. Yeah. Uh, look at the map. It's at this side. 3 p.m. 
and just throw this pier and then wait for the butterfly. Here it is. Aha. All right, found a new insect. Thing is, there's a bug. We need to do it again. Keep. There we go. Finally. Aha. It is here. All right, cool. Don't leave it by the door. And don't forget to collect again your peers, guys. After you drop it in this pool, you can still collect that peer that you used to bait the silver skipper. And also, every time you drop, it will keep it will keep on coming out. So you will have an unlimited amount, uh, unlimited source of silver skippers as long as you have all those um, peers. Uh, since we have a silver skipper, let's just go ahead and collect it. <laughs> nice. Okay, now we need to find Ash Brown. Where could, where could he be? Oh, we have one more proverb. Elderberry location one. Beyond the hench where dryads roam, elderberries make their home. So right now, guys, we're still trying to find Ash Brown. It says that it's in, he is in this region. So we're just running around looking for him. Hey, he's not. Do you know where Ash Brown lives? Bless you this day. Thank you. Here's some apple for you. I'm glad you likes it. Thanks. I heard Edna Teapot really doesn't like farmers too. Mm, okay, that's good to know. I'm always eating that. No, not farmers too. I, I'm doing the others too. Look at these adorable cats. <laughs> They're all asleep. All the cats should be night creatures, right? How come they are all asleep? That's weird. I wonder I cannot use the outhouse yet to teleport for some reason. Okay, let's just uh, enter the mine. I was not able to find. We we're not able to find uh, Ash Brown. So let's just be productive by hitting these ores. Pretty sure we can use all of them when we get that blacksmith uh, shop. Or if we need to craft a tool. And also, every time we use it, it will level up our tool. So. Oh, we are in Northgate Vale. Need to go back. Okay, by 1 a.m. If still we are not able to find Ash Brown, we're gonna do it tomorrow, guys. Okay, I think uh, he's not here. For some reason, uh, the other way is really not that accurate. Same as what happened to Lucy Arrows in our previous video. It was saying that she was in this region, but the fact is she was in another region region next to it so it's okay at least we're able to fulfill a task and discover some cool stuff you just head home and call it a day uh, the thing is again willow farm no good statue um i don't know why why we cannot yet teleport to our house all we all, all I can do is to teleport here and draw this cross. It's the nearest from our house. Oh well, that's fine. We got ourselves the, the rare silver skipper. And I wonder what's gonna be next after we show it to Ash. It's gonna be exciting, right? So yeah, pretty much that is it guys. For more Let's Plays of Kinseed, you could check at the lower left hand corner of your screen. I will be posting the video after I'm done uh, making it. And please do give this video a like and subscribe. And as always, be patient and kind to one another because that is what love is. See you in the next video.